AI is taking over and it's going to take all of our jobs away, except not really. AI or artificial intelligence is going to, in my opinion, become a tool that we use to make our lives easier. But just as corporate clients still pay big bucks for video production services, despite an iPhone being able to record, edit, and upload 4K footage, we're still going to find plenty of people that don't want to do these things or don't know how to do these things. And that's why we'll never run out of paying clients. Before I dive in and show you how simple it is to create a run of show schedule for your live streams using AI, please do me a favor of clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. It takes you one second and it greatly helps out my channel. Now back to the good stuff. If you wanted to change out the oil on your car, you could go and watch a five minute video on YouTube for practically any car. Run to the store, buy a bottle of oil and replace your engine's oil. For those of you that are a little more of a car enthusiast, you might already do that. But for most of us, we're still taking our car to an auto shop and paying someone to do it. You see, it doesn't matter how easy it is to do, people will still pay for a service. And rant. Okay, you're a live streamer or video person and you wanna leverage AI to make your life easier. You know that having a run of show scheduled out where every moment of the live stream is listed would be a huge help, but you don't wanna sit there writing out every little element to the show. This is where sites like ChatGPT can come in and make your life easier. Start by heading over to chat.openai.com and if you don't already have an account, you can create one for free. Now we need to start by feeding ChatGPT some information about what we want it to create. I typically start by saying something like, pretend you are an expert event planner and coordinator with an exceptional ability to plan a minute by minute event that keeps attendees paying attention, but also keeps the event moving along so that we can provide massive amounts of information to the attendees through keynote speakers, breakout sessions, networking breaks, and more. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to assist me in creating a run of show schedule of a one day event starting at 8 a.m. with a networking breakfast and ending at 5 p.m. with closing remarks. I'll need your help in filling in the schedule with 15 minute breaks, keynote speakers, and breakout sessions that are fun and engaging. The topic of the conference is video marketing and three experts that we have speaking are Casey Neistat with the topic, how to produce amazing YouTube videos, Philip Bloom teaching the art of cinematic videography, and Tim Cook teaching how to design beautiful keynote presentations. Before I ask you to help me in designing this run of show, I also want you to note that a good run of show includes one, a time schedule for the day, two, total run times for each event segment, three, the name of the segment and speaker, four, media, including a list of any PowerPoint files, graphics, or videos that might need to be played back in that segment, and five, any other notes that might be needed for that session. Do you understand? Now, once I submit that, I wait for just a couple of seconds and watch as ChatGPT magically creates an answer. It did a pretty good job. However, there's a few small issues that I have with the response. For starters, this answer isn't in a table format just yet, but we'll get to that one. Right now, I'm focused on the note section since it seemed to write a generic note for each segment, and that's okay. We'll most likely have to add our own notes since we'll know more about the event than any AI will. Second, it made some breakout sessions that include a space to insert a name or a presentation, so if we already know that information, we can tell it something like, please revise breakout session three to have the speaker Gene Simmons and his presentation, the KISS method for marketing your brand, and change the 3.45 p.m. panel discussion speakers to be a four-person panel of Gerald Undone, Mr. Beast, Tom Buck, and Curtis Judd. The media section for the 3.45 p.m. panel should also include one video titled YouTubers Anonymous with a total runtime of 4 minutes and 36 seconds. The closing remarks at 4.45 p.m. should have the speaker Zephan Moses and the media for that segment should include a PowerPoint slideshow titled 
mypresentation.ppt. Within seconds, we get a more flushed out run of show. Now it's time to put this entire thing into a table format that works for our run of show of the event. We can do this by telling ChatGPT, using this run of show schedule for our upcoming event, I want you to take all of the information from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and create a table with columns including segment time, TRT, total runtime of the segment, segment name, speakers, media, and notes. Note that we're being very specific in telling it what we want each column to have, and we're using the same language so it doesn't get confused as to what needs to go in each cell. ChatGPT was also kind enough to let us know that we'll need to fill in missing names and information in some of the cells. Now that the table is created, you can click and highlight all of this information and copy and paste it into any Excel sheet or Word document to keep tweaking it from there. But as you can see, in a matter of just a few minutes, we were able to create an entire run of show for a live stream and get it formatted exactly how we wanted. A run of show is a great tool to keep you on track and we use them on every event we do. It helps you and the client see what is coming up next, prepare for any graphics, videos, or PowerPoints you might need, and in the notes section, you can write anything else that might be helpful like notes to change out the chairs on stage from a lectern to a four-person panel, or a note that someone hasn't given you their slideshow yet and might provide it on the spot on a flash drive. Having this list keeps the event flowing on time and won't leave you guessing as to what comes next. A run of show is just one of the many tools that we teach streamers to use in their events. And if you haven't seen it yet, my website, streamingmastery.com, be sure to head over there to learn more about how you can become the ultimate live streamer and build a business of selling live stream and video services. In my online course, I provide tons of tools and documents that you can swipe and deploy in your video business, including a full run of show template, which is just one of the many resources that I've taken the time to put together so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And again, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, be sure to hit that button below this video and then join me down in the comments section if you have any questions or simply want to drop in and just say hi. See you next time.